Hello. All right. All right. I thought I'd make a quick uh, video on this here. I got the uh, NVX XCAP10 hybrid capacitor. And I'll be putting this in the whip along with all the other stuff that I have. I just still I'll do a quick unboxing. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up real quick. Quick unboxing to this. Wow, look at that thing. Oh, okay. Okay, looking at that, um, looks like we got this little piece. This is used, I believe, to charge it up. Lean out to charge it up. And, uh, okay, we got another Allen wrench and some screws to get it out. Let's go ahead and take this out of here real quick. Oh, okay, look at that. Okay, look at that, it looks like a small lamp. It's not a, I got a big hand, but it's very, it's a very, very small. You can stick this thing anywhere. And uh, hope this will compliment my system. I mean, my system was not bad at all. I'm just using it to just, you know, give it a little bit more oomph. Comes with a owner's manual, of course. Not bad. All right, I took it out of the plastic here. Um, yeah, it looks like it's set four gauge or zero gauge wire. Uh, I think you lift this up, I think. Yeah, you lift that up and now to give you your positives and your negatives. So it looks like one in, two out, and the positive, one in, two out, and the negatives. So, uh, just a little quick unboxing of this, this NVX uh, digital capacitor. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, charge it up for you real quick, and let's see how, see how that's done. All right, you guys, I am currently charging it. Um, I got a battery. To charge it, you gotta have the blue going into the positive and have the negatives together and have that going red going to the battery. Uh, let's see where we're at as far as uh, connections. Let's see if we get a, need to get to, let's say 12.5. Let's see where we at. We at 2.2 right now. When you first uh, uh, pop this thing open, you might see a little bit of smoke coming out of that thing. That's okay. Uh, right now it's at 2.58. We want to get it to about 12 volts. We want to charge this up to 12 volts. So right now it's, my, it's going to take a couple minutes. But yeah, this is a ghetto rig. I had a battery just laying around. So we go ahead and charge this up real quick. Uh, right now it's charging uh, 12.96. Three. Okay, it's going up nice and slow. So uh, yeah. Hopefully this thing doesn't overheat. So, uh, but you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll, we'll just keep it, have it going and hopefully it'll, it'll charge all the way up to the 12 volts. That's what I believe was gotta go to 12 volts. So when we get to 12 volts, we'll go ahead and shut it down. All right, you guys, uh, so that's at five point something right now. Uh, so like I said, it's like it's gonna take a minute for it to charge up. It's gonna have to get the 12 megs, but like I say, that's all you have to do. It's not that hard to charge this thing up. Uh, just let it do its thing. So maybe 12 point something volts and it should be charged up. So yeah, it's going up slowly for sure. All right, you guys, we're getting close. Uh, it's been a while. It's been uh, almost 20 minutes. So we're getting close. We just have to just keep on letting it grind away. Yeah, my ghetto hookup, but it works. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys, uh, it's pretty much done charging. It's at 11.66, so I think that is good enough. It's pretty much done charging, but that's just how you can charge your, 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 your cap, capacitor. All right, I hope this helps anybody. Uh, right now, we're about to put it in the car.